In this video, I'll show you how to add author boxes to your WordPress blog posts and to fully customize them along with a custom profile picture so we don't have to use the third-party Gravatar service. We'll completely update the style of this so you can change it however you wish. And we'll also add a fade in effect. So if we refresh the page, you can see how that fades in. And we have multiple copies of it, one at the top and one at the bottom. There's also a link so you can link to a website or if we click through, it'll actually go through the author page where it'll list all of that author's different blog posts on this website. So let's go ahead and get started with the author box. So the first thing we're gonna do is head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. And I'm gonna be using the pro version of Seedprod with all the features. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and click on the orange button to grab an account with Seedprod. Once you have an account set up, we'll go ahead and click on login. Here in the login page on the left-hand side, we'll put in the email address, the password, and click on login. Once you're logged in, let's click on the second tab from the left called Downloads, and we'll click the orange button here to download SeedProd Pro. We also need the license key here on the left side. We'll click this little icon here to copy this to clipboard, and we can go ahead and close this tab. Next, let's go ahead and log inside of your WordPress admin area. And on the left-hand side, we can see Plugins, and we'll go to Add New. At the top here, we can see Upload Plugin. Let's click on this, and let's click on Choose File, and you can select that zip file that you just downloaded. Or if you're using the same browser, you can click down here and drag and drop that right here. Next, let's go ahead and click on Install Now and activate the plugin. Seaprod's going to ask you for a license key. Let's go ahead and paste that right here, and we'll verify key. You should see a green success message on the top right corner. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. Great, the next thing that I want to do is come over to the Theme Builder on the left-hand side under Seed Prod, and I'm going to click on Theme Template Kits, and I'm going to go ahead and import a fully working and functional theme. This will be a website that we can test on. For example, here's the Nutrition Consult website. I'll click the check mark here to import this, and this will redirect us back to the Theme Builder with all of the template files imported into our website. Now, of course, if you have a fully functional website already before this, be careful because this will overwrite that website. So before you enable this, make sure that that's not the case. So on the right hand side here, we have enable seed prod theme. Let's go ahead and turn this on and I'll click OK a couple times. And let's just preview the front page here. So here you go. You can see the website that we just imported and you can fully customize this however you wish. Now, of course, we want to go to the blog page. I'll just go to slash blog. And here we can see just a default theme here. And we have one post here called Hollow World. Let me go ahead and click on this. And what we want to do is actually add an author box either at the top or the bottom or anywhere on the page that you want to add it. We're going to modify the single post template and that template design will be applied to all of our blog posts on the website. I'm going to come back to the Seedprod WordPress area and I'm going to go to posts and all posts and I'm going to click on the edit hello world. I'm just going to quickly change the title. I'm going to add some default content here and on the right hand side I'm just going to add a category, some tags and a featured image. This is optional, you don't have to do this. And there we go, I updated the post here a little bit and I'm just gonna click on update. Next, if we come back to our post, we can see that we have a little bit more information on the page. Now let's go ahead and import this author box. We can add one maybe at the top and if you wanted, you could add a second one at the bottom as well, if you like. Let's come back to the WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna click on the WordPress logo up here at the top to come back to our dashboard. On the left-hand side, let's come to Seed Prod and Theme Builder. And if we scroll down, we'll look for the single post template. Now this will be applied to all of our posts. So let's go ahead and edit this design. Here we can see the seed prod page builder and we can modify any of the elements on this page. On the left hand side we have our blocks that we can simply drag into our page. We have the template tags, WooCommerce template tags. These are grayed out because we don't have WooCommerce currently installed. We have our standard blocks, our advanced blocks, and some additional WooCommerce and widgets down here at the bottom. Let's go ahead under template tags at the top. We have author box. I'm actually going to click and I'll just drag this in maybe right here. And you can see that it looks very simple. It doesn't look very good right now, but we'll take care of that. It's also a little bit of spacing here. I think that's coming from the date. So I'll click on the block settings here. We'll come under advanced and I see spacing. And of course here is 20 at the bottom. So I'll remove that to remove that space. For the author box, let's go ahead and click on the block settings here and we'll make this a lot better. Now Seabrot actually gives you a message here to show you to go to the profile screen to manage your profile, which we'll do. So we'll have to add more information here about this author so that it can be used inside of the template. So right now we're displaying the profile picture and the display name. Here we have the HTML tag. This will be used for the name of the author. Right now it's just set to SP. We have a link here that we can add for a website or archive posts, as well as showing the biography or not. We also have some advanced options here we'll go through. Let's go ahead and save this. And we'll click to go to the profile screen. 
Now this will actually bring us to users and profile. You can also access this at the top right by going under your user here and clicking on edit profile. This will bring you to the same place. If we scroll down, we can see the username, first name, last name, our display name. We have a website URL here, the biography and the profile picture. So before we continue, our profile picture can only be managed by Gravatar, which is a third party service. If you don't wanna use this and create an account with them, that's no problem. We can go ahead to plugins and add new and we'll install a plugin to overwrite and use our own custom profile picture. So let's go to profile picture. And there's a lot of different plugins here that'll accomplish this for us. I'm just gonna select a random one here. Let's use user profile picture. I'll install this now and we'll click on activate. Great, now let's come back and we'll go to our edit profile. And this time we have a new section here for profile image. Let's go ahead and click to edit and this will actually open the media library. Now you can upload your own profile picture here and then we can select that. So here's a random picture that I uploaded and I'll set profile image. And great, now we can use this. If we come down, we have our first name and last name. So I'll just enter a name here. But Seabrod's gonna be using the display name. So we can actually select this and it'll show the variations of all of the names that we entered here. Let's go ahead and select John Doe. If you'd like to link the author box, make sure that you have a website URL here. Otherwise you can use the archive link, which will link to all of the author's posts on the current website. We also have the bio info here, so make sure you post something here if you'd like to show that. And once you've entered in all the information, let's go ahead and update the profile. Great, if we come back to the seed prod page builder here, we can see our author box, but it hasn't updated yet. We can actually go ahead and save this page and we can refresh. Now you can see that the information is being set into our author box here. So now we can go ahead and work with this to customize the look and feel of it. Let's go ahead and click on the block settings again and make sure it's selected on the left-hand side here. You can see that by where it says editing author box. So here you can turn on or off the profile. We have the display name here. We have the HTML tag for the div. So for example, right now it's just a simple div. You can set that to H1, which would be quite large. You can modify the size if you like. H2, you can go smaller, H3, et cetera. For now, I'll set this to a div and then we'll modify the size here under advance. For the link, I'm gonna change this to website and you can click to show or hide the biography. Once you're happy with that, we can change the look of it by going under advanced and styles. Here we have the name topography. So that'll be the John Doe. Let's click on edit. You can change the font family if you wish to something else. I'll leave it to default for now. Here we have the font size. So I'll increase this a little bit. You have the line height if you wanna change this as well as the letter spacing. We have the style so you can bold it if you like. You can change the alignment and the letter casing if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And we have the name color. If we click here, we can see we have global theme colors. These are set in our global theme settings. We have the common colors and we can select a custom color if we like. For this, I'll just select one of the dark greens here for now. And we'll go ahead and close this. For the biography topography, that's this text right here. We can edit this. And again, you can change the font size, the font family, line height, letter spacing, and all the different styles here. For the font, I'm actually gonna bring this down a little bit so it fits in there better. I think somewhere around there looks fine. And I'm gonna close this. You can add a shadow if you like, and the biography color. I might take this down just a little bit to a dark gray. Let's minimize this and we'll go under background. And we have the background style for the color. Right now, I think the header is using kind of a light pink color here. Let's go ahead and select a color. And we'll select maybe that light pink, just so it stands out a little bit. You can also do a gradient background or a background image if you like. Below this, we can go to spacing. You can add margin or padding if you like. So for example, if I add 50 padding, you can see that adds 50 on all the sides on the inside. The margin would be applied on the outside of the box. Here we have the border. We have the border radius. This would add some curvature to all your corners. We have the border style, a solid, and the color. I'm gonna go ahead and it will go a little bit darker than the background. And I'll do a width of one. We can see that that is applied around the box. You can minimize this and we have attributes. So you can add custom CSS IDs and classes that you can work with to add your own CSS or JavaScript that's applied to that. Here we can look at device visibility. So I can hide this on desktop if you like or on mobile. We do have a mobile preview here in the bottom. So if I click this, you could hide this on mobile and see how that's grayed out. I'll just turn this off and switch back. We also lastly have the animation effects. Now you can apply this to any element on the page. For this, I'm gonna do it to the author box and we'll just do a simple fade in. So when the page loads, you'll see that this box will in fact fade in. So if we come down to the bottom, you can actually take this author box and you can add it to the bottom as well. So if I drag this in, you'll have the default box and you'd have to restart with the styles. So I could delete this. So you have two options here. You could actually duplicate this and then we could use the navigator on the right hand side here to take this second author box and we could drag it down to the bottom of the content. The other option is we could actually save this block. Let me delete this one 
and we could save this block right here. We could give it a template name. I'll call this custom author box and we'll save the template. After saving this template, let's go ahead and save this page and we'll refresh. And now we should have access at the bottom. Let me scroll to the bottom of the page. At the bottom of the blocks on the left-hand side, we have saved blocks. So here we have the custom author box. Let me go ahead and I can drag and drop this into the page. And it's an exact copy of the one that's above us. Once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save this. And I'll come back to this blog post. Let's refresh the page and you can see that that fades in and loads in. This one should fade in as well. So you can see that animation effect with the design that we created for it. If we look, there's actually a link. The whole box is linked. And this is to the website that we added into our settings. So if I come back and we modify the block settings, we can change this from the link to the website to the archive posts. We can go ahead and save this and refresh the page and click. This will actually take us to the author page for John Doe. And this would actually list all of that author's blog posts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful on adding author boxes and using the custom profile picture. As well, please check out these videos if you're interested in more seed prod content. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.